In this video, we'll be looking at how to find the coefficients in an expanded generating function or simply in an expanded this power series. Now, as we notice that this is given as x cube plus x4 plus x to the power 5 plus so on raised to power 6. So one of the way to do this is, so let me to write the first way that is simple and as expected that one can open this one x cube plus x4 plus x to the power 5 plus 6 and write this expansion six times so x5 plus so on and then write this expansion six times once you write this six times you can then multiply as usual so this is uh, six times and then multiplying the first first term we see that x cube is here x cube is here x cube is here there are six times uh, this product is multiplied so the first coefficient is x to the power 18 and then there will be some coefficient corresponding to that. Let me do write this as a0. Then we multiply the other terms like x cube is multiplied by x4 and here we have x cube. So maybe then we get x to the power 19 as a coefficient and write this as a1 and continue this expansion. So our question is to find what is the coefficient in general. So one way is this once we multiply and then identify what is a0, a1, a2 because we wanted to identify find the coefficient of x to the power k k greater than or equal to 18 in this expansion but i'm going to now write a general form of this expansion or maybe say i want to find the general nth term uh, coefficient expression and then we will write so we'll write alternate and one more better way of finding is and for the alternate way let me to first recall how i'm going to look at recall Say for example, we have this expansion 1 plus x plus x square plus so on. We know that this can be written in the summation form. This is x to the power n and goes from 0 to infinity. And here this coefficient is 1. So this means the nth coefficient is 1. So similarly, if we have 1 plus 2x plus 3x square and plus so on. And here we can write it as summation n plus 1 x raised to power n n goes from 0 to infinity because uh, if n is equal to 0 the first term is 1 if n is equal to 2 the coefficient of x is whenever n is equal to 1 so the coefficient of x raised to power 1 will give me 2 which is this so in this case we know that this is the nth term coefficient so whatever be the coefficient of x raised to power n will be term as a n so that is the coefficient of x raised to power n so what i am trying to do is i am trying to look for the general expression so that if somebody asks me what is the coefficient of x to the power 10 i will look at the general term and then i will say the coefficient of x to the power 10 is 10 plus 1 because i just have to plug in the value for n here in the nth term and then i'll say that this is equal to 11. And we also note one more term. So for example, in the same expression, we have x cube multiplied by 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus so on. We just seen that this is x cube summation n plus 1 x to the power n. n goes from 0 to infinity. Now in this case, because 3 is already multiplied, this means in this left hand side expression, the least coefficient that we will find is for x cube. We will not find for x square, x to the power 1 or x to the power 0 because the terms on the left hand side is x cube. And then you can 2x to the power 4 plus 3 times x to the power 5 and so on. So the least, ex least coefficient you can find it for x cube. Now suppose we have some terms like this x cube. So what we'll do since this x cube is common throughout the term. We will only look at the desired coefficient of this expansion and then we will see this x3 how it is going to come up. Now we know that this is going to be termed as a n. This is the nth coefficient. If this expansion was not multiplied by x cube, but suppose it is already multiplied. So what I will see the coefficient of x to the power n in this expansion x cube over 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus so on is is same as same as coefficient of x to the power n minus 3 in 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus so on because 
I want to find x to the power n coefficient in this expansion. Now what I did, 3 is already there. So I'll simply look n minus 3 coefficient in the remaining term. And when you want to see n minus 3 coefficient in the remaining term, you know that as we have nth term. So I am looking for a n minus 3. So a n minus 3 will be actually the coefficient of x raised to power n minus 3. And now if we want to go from here back to the coefficient of x to the power n in this expansion x cube so you know that already a n minus 3 into x n minus 3 is already there and now when this n is multiply you get a coefficient of x raised to power n so this is the strategy that we can look at up if we have some terms that we can extract and we we find the general formula for some of the expansion so now in the given expansion this, let me to call this as 1, we want to find the coefficient of x to the power k whenever k is greater than or equal to 18. And as we have seen, if we even open it up, the least coefficient we get it for 18 and for of course the other terms. Now for this, what I will do, I will try to take common terms and then I will try to find the generalized term of the expansion and then I will say which is the nth term. We can take x cube common from all the terms and then we have 1 plus x plus x square plus so on raised to power 6 and then we see that this is x to the power 18 and inside we have 1 plus x plus x square plus so on and so we know now the expansion of this one this is 1 over 1 minus x raised to power 6. Now here we can use the binomial expansion so once we use the binomial expansion we can see that this is x to the power 18 summation r goes from 0 to infinity r plus 6 minus 1 choose r or we or we can put it as 6 minus 1 raised to power x raised to power r so here you can even recall this as we know 1 over 1 minus x to the power n this is same as summation r goes from 0 to infinity r plus n minus 1 choose n minus 1 x to the power r and this expression is same as r plus n minus 1 choose r. So whichever we can use in this case we have used this one. And so this becomes x to the power 18 summation r goes from 0 to infinity r plus 5 choose 5 x to the power r. So now we know this is the a r term. This is the rth term or if I would have expanded it in terms of m or something else I will say that this is the journal rth term so this will become journal rth term or we can simply say this is the coefficient of x to the power r ar is the coefficient of x to the power r now the question is to identify the coefficient of x to the power 18 and even for the larger term and we also notice that x to the power 18 is uh, multiplied with this one so we can simply see as i've done earlier coefficient of x to the power k this is our question k greater than or equal to 18 we want to find this in the expansion that is the original expansion which is x cube plus x4 plus so on raised to power 6 this is of course same as this is same as coefficient of x to the power k minus 18 now i want to find only in this expansion leaving this term because 18 is already multiplied so i will look for the coefficient of k minus 18 because then if i multiply by this 18 i will get the desired coefficient of x to the power 18 uh, in the expansion and now what is the expansion the remaining expansion so i'll just look focus on to this expansion because the coefficient is coming due to this only x to the power 18 has only one here so this will not make much change and so expansion this is in summation r goes from 0 to infinity r plus 5 choose 5 x to the power r in this expansion i want to find the coefficient of x to the power 18 k minus 18 and we just have seen what is the coefficient which is so instead of r just plug in k minus 18 which is so i want to find in this is the coefficient this will x raised to power r is giving me the coefficient of r so if i simply replace r by k minus 18 and inside also i will replace so i will get the desired coefficient of x to the power k minus 18 so here this is k minus 18 in the place of r in this the place of r you simply write k minus 18 
and then we add plus 5 and then we have choose 5 this is same as k minus 13 choose 5 so this is the desired coefficient and so if i want to know what is the coefficient of x to the power k k minus that is same as this because i've written this is same as this now this question is simple so here we have uh, calculated suppose i want to find simply the coefficient of coefficient of x to the power 18 okay if this is the question so in this case what i need to simply plug in i need to take x to the power k so look at here x to the power k this is same as this so this means i just simply need to put in the formula here this is 18 minus 13 choose 5 so this becomes 5 choose 5 and that is 1 and now if i want to find coefficient of x to the power let's say 30 so again i'll just simply substitute that into this formula so k is 30 minus 13 choose 5 so 30 minus 17 uh, 30 minus 13 this will become 17 choose 5 and so this is the coefficient of x to the power 30 and similarly we can find as much as coefficient as we want because now we have a general formula so we don't need to multiply those six terms earlier and hence this becomes the better way of reading the coefficient through the general term